It's a very powerful judgment, um, and it is incredible in one sense that the judges have um, gone into this space, used the language they have, saying that essentially the Prime Minister, his real motive was to frustrate the process and to shut down Parliament. I I, across the country, I don't think many people actually believe the Prime Minister when he said this is just for a Queen's speech, but for a court to say that the documents really point one way and that they undermine his case to a point where they've ruled him unlawful. That's an incredibly powerful thing for them to have done. Um, Joanna Cherry and the others lost at first, I think, in the High Court in yeah. Scotland. This was the appeal. And, of course, the government's now going to appeal to the Supreme Court in London. Um, you're a former DPP, you know about these things. What are you expecting in the Supreme Court? Well, well, the Supreme Court will come to its own decision, but don't underestimate this. I mean, courts are quite used to saying that governments acted unlawfully because they've misinterpreted the law or something like that. That's not unusual. But to say that the motive or the reason the Prime Minister's put forward uh, was not the true reason, that is very powerful and very unusual for a court. I don't think they would have done it without overwhelming evidence. And I actually think that the right thing for the Prime Minister now is to recall Parliament this afternoon or tomorrow morning so that we can get back, do our job and look at the judgment as a Parliament and decide what ought to happen next. Can he do